Sarah, you mentioned a clean sheet in the build-up to the game. How disappointed were you with where your team started this afternoon? Well, I was, dis I was disappointed. I was, I was happy that we didn't concede seven or eight in that first half period. I just think that we've been trying to play a certain way. Um, today, we just got, with their experience and our young side, we really come up short today and it was really disappointed. And I just thought they were, they had a position of strength. We was looking to play them. It was taking a little bit too long. It was getting shut down, but to concede the two goals, both from throwing, to be that easily to easy to cut open, that was the most disappointing thing. And the, the sort of necessity of trying to get something from the game, I think a lot of our players froze today, or it was a little bit too much for them. And um, that was the first time since I've taken over where you know it was. I wanted to sort of rip people's heads off at half time, but. You've got a lot of young players in there, you can't do that. You've got to try and give people an opportunity and a chance. And it was, you know, we come out in the second half and it was a little bit better, but for the results now that have gone against us, uh, for the points gap to get bigger, it leaves us all to do now. And, uh, we have to reflect, we have to analyse what we do, and now we've got to go again, because when we go to Colchester on Tuesday night, it's going to be much of the same with a, with a poor pitch, with a team that's playing the percentages, and we're going to have to deal with that. So. Um, really disappointing day today. I'd like to apologise to the travelling supporters that have come down. Lovely day for football and, uh, and the Oval Town didn't turn up. What did you say to your players at half time? Because you looked like you were making a bit more of a game of it after the break before that third goal, the sucker punch. I don't want to go into too much detail, but I was angry. So, and that was the first time I've had to really get angry with this group. And um, listen, they tried second half, but it wasn't good enough. And it was for the position that we're in to only produce that. That is the reason why we are where we are, which is rock bottom of the league. It's been happening all season, and we've come full circle in the space of the last couple of games. Um, Bristol City, even though we got beat 3 0, the supporters saw something. They saw the, the players fighting today. You know, one thing I will let you know is that I said first half it looked like a lot of our experienced ones and ones that have been here had given up. And um, put it on a few people that have been with the club for a little while, and then. Um, I said, you've got to go out there and show me now in the second half. And they did They did a little bit, but still not good enough. We didn't, even when they went down to 10 men, we couldn't even break that down. And that was what was the most disappointing thing for me today. How difficult is it going to be to sort of get their heads back up ahead of a really make or break tie now ahead of uh, Colchester on Tuesday? Well, it can't get any worse than that. So, really disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, come back to my home place. I'm a, a, live in Roman Road, which is about 10 minutes from here. My family's at the game today and I feel embarrassed now to go and speak to them and see my family because that's that's not acceptable from a Yeovil Town team. We didn't show our supporters the fight that we have done in this last sort of month and a half since I've taken over. And for however, for however close we've got, we've just lost all of that now in 45 minutes of, of poor play from us. Eight points from safety, nine games to go. Is it too little, too late or are you, is, it, is it still possible until it's mathematically impossible I guess. Yeah, you, go, you go all the way. Uh, I'm disappointed because that was a real sucker punch today but we've got to go to Colchester now and we've got to do better than that so I might take a little bit, keep it a little bit more simple for them. Uh, have to play a percentage game like what Leighton Orient did today. It's not ideally what you'd like to do because you've got a certain philosophy on how you want to play. Uh, I think people that have been watching the games recently have seen that but then when it comes to the crunch and they don't turn up <coughs> That's what you get. And, um, bitterly disappointed. We've got to pick ourselves up. And now we'll, we'll be in tomorrow. We'll pick the bones out of it, pick the players up again, and then we've got to go again. Just the one positive you did have uh, Joe Edwards back this afternoon as well as, as Kingsley. What did you make of their performances? Yeah, listen, I thought Joe was really rusty today. Uh, he wasn't his usual self. He wasn't getting his club. But then everybody was like that. No one was getting around him. And we looked weak today. And that's the first time, sort of under me as well, where we looked really weak. As individuals, we lost too many battles and as a team. So the positive is he's back fit, um, but we've got to now recover him, rest him so that he can go again and lead the team. Because um, I felt we was, listen, he was giving it a go today, but I felt we were leaderless. The experienced ones didn't take on the, the mantle of, and the severity of where we are and put that into practice today. So there's a lot of people now that have got to raise their games for their futures, as well as mine and as well as our football club. There's a lot of players at this football club that are out of contract. And if there was anyone watching them today um, for their futures, I wouldn't be taking them today. They'll be going out of the league.
and that's what I've said to them there. And I said, if there's decisions that I've got to make at the end of the season, if the going gets tough and you're not that person that steps up, you'll be going out of football very quickly. And I've, I've made people aware of that today as well.